now it's time to honour some health teams. So these are the people who are not just extraordinary as individuals, but work so well and so vitally with others to really do some extraordinary things. And to present this award, please welcome on stage Dr Ranj. <laughs> Lovely to see you too. Uh, tell us a little bit about the finalists. So, um, if you hadn't heard about the condition of sepsis, you'd be forgiven because up until quite recently, mm. it was not really spoken about. It was very much seen as a silent killer, even though it affects billions of people worldwide, over 150,000 people in the UK alone, and sadly still results in about 44,000 deaths every year. That's more than bowel and breast and prostate cancer combined. So understandably, there have been lots of initiatives to try and improve the way we deal with this devastating condition. That could be improving and raising awareness within the public body. That could be about teaching professionals how to deal with it better. It's all about recognising it sooner, treating it quicker, and this next hospital team have done, gone one step further mm. and actually have started to deal with this condition before it even reaches the hospital doors. And they're already seeing a significant reduction in mortality in their region. And this is their story. The clinical support officers from the Isle of Wight were nominated because of their groundbreaking initiative to tackle sepsis. They're working extremely hard, often in their own time, uh, and they're just extremely dedicated. Sepsis is a serious and potentially life-threatening complication of, of having an infection. Our mortality rates have reduced partly due to um, the introduction of pre-hospital sepsis care. Just while we've been filming in here today, a lady has just come in, and this is what this whole project is about. It's really been brilliant. I couldn't ask for better treatment. John and your team. As you know, and many other people know, my family suffered the terrible tragedy of losing our daughter Maud to sepsis. This is my thank you to you from, very personally, from me and my family and everyone at the UK Sepsis Trust for all the incredible work that you all have done. Thank you. Please welcome the team from the Isle of Wight NHS Trust. you is John. Ah, you came up with this way of dealing with sepsis, didn't you? Um, yeah. Can Thanks. I come? Yeah. yeah, thank you. All right. Um, I guess I didn't kind of... It, it was my kind of idea to start with, I guess, on the Isle of Wight, but it's, it's these guys that have really... Mm. I mean, I'm just the person that sort of started the ball rolling, but it's these guys that actually do it day in, day out, and they are treating, well, over a thousand people now on the Isle of Wight every year have been treated pre-hospital sometimes you know, one, two, three hours before we normally would treat them in the emergency department. So that we know it's all about, as Dr. Rogers already said, it's all about speed. Yeah. It's all about speed. We're nearly 40,000, well, over 40,000 people now dying in the UK each year from sepsis. And if you can get it, get there quicker. And we thought, why not just get that into the hands of the first, the first medical contact? Mm. But that's a hard thing to do. Mm. And the enthusiasm with which the paramedics on the Isle of Wight have really taken this on board is just... Yeah. Unbelievable, really. Well, Dr. Ranch, you want to get the award into their hands. <laughs> <laughs> You've only been going since 2013. You've already helped over a thousand people. I'm sure you guys are all going to help many, many more. Congratulations on your well deserved award. Thank you so much. Thank you. What a team, what a team. 